come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're in a quest to take over the world one person at a time. Just oh, by so really trying to wake us up. <laughs> That's right. Uh, these are the Internet Radio Superstars. Holly. Michaela. I like a car going down the racetrack. Sean. <laughs> and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by. Sean. What did we watch tonight? Uh, we watched 1998's Fallen, starring Denzel Washington. Directed by. Directed by Gregory King Hoblet. Do oh that's that's a name <laughs> that's a name that's isn't a it? name okay, but Greg Hoblet. King Hoblet like this yeah. guy's a creature trying to pass as a person right, right. Yeah. He's the like, King I'm Hoblet. the King Hoblet but my yeah. name is Gregory, Gregory? yeah well, we yeah, hope you're listening yeah. to this show Gregory the have, King Hoblet uh, yes. uh, yeah we won't start beef it's a it's a great Hoblet. great name uh, do we what? know this King Hoblet you do he really has, you you do really okay you do because he's directed such movies it is he's directed such movies as Primal Fear Fallen obviously Frequency Oh. Hearts War. Frequency is a uh, movie I love. Would you say Hearts War? Hearts War. Okay. The one with Mel Gibson. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, Colin uh, Fracture and Untraceable. Okay. I, I, I remember Fracture. I remember, I remember Fracture. Untraceable. Was that the Ryan Gosling, Anthony Hopkins one? Or is that? Oh, it could have been. Yeah, I yeah. think that's Fracture. Yeah, yeah that's that Fracture. Is fra- I, don't yeah. Know I mean, that's the one I'm thinking of. So right, yeah. 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 Uh, he's also, uh, I mean, he's won nine Primetime Emmy Awards. He's directed Hill Street Blues, NYPD Blue, L.A. Law, Hooperman, and Rowe. And, so, uh, Copaganda is his Co- thing. His, yeah. his uh, dad was an FBI yeah. agent. And um, a lot there of his, it is. And a lot of, he's done a lot of TV and film and everything. A lot of his stuff has to do with, you know, cops. Mm-hmm. And Primal really Fear was his first movie? I don't know if it was his first. It's just one say, of the... That's a good way to those. start. Like, no. Man, that's a great start. <laughs> no, first movie that he directed was... No, no, no. no uh, TV movie, Roe vs. Oh, Wade, okay, 1989. Okay. Oh, He directed fitting. Cop Rock. Oh, Cop, Cop Rock! Rock. Shut up! Oh, my God. Oh, my you God. Have you guys watched Cop Rock? Have you ever Steven watched I have. it? Oh, my God. Wow. Cop Rock is wow. amazing. Guys, we I have no to, idea what We Cop all need is. to get stoned and watch Cop Rock. <laughs> Dude. Um, Sean, imagine that. a police procedural, but they break into the song music? randomly. Yeah. Even no did. joke. It's I, amazing. Didn't we just watch that movie? Is it? Uh, no, it's more over. Like, there's dance. It's like, like a musical. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was a Stephen Boschko or one of yeah. the guy who made yeah, Hill Street yeah, yeah. Blues. Yeah, right? We need oh to, we need we to watch Cop yeah. Rock. Yes. I'd love to it's be in the so pitch ridiculous. meeting for that. Yes. It's a cop show, but a musical in like 1989 or some shit, right? Right. Like, yeah. Uh, 1990. Yeah. yeah. 1990. Uh, he was also, and this is where it connects to other things. He was also married to actress Deborah Ferentino. No way. From 94 to 2009. Deborah Ferentino being the star of? Cellar Dweller. Cellar <laughs> Dweller. Deborah Ferentino, who we also figured out we had got her name from uh was it John Ferentino? Is that his name? Don't was remember. There? The guy from uh am I saying his name wrong? Ferentino is Yeah, Ferentino the- was the guy from uh the final countdown. You remember that uh movie with uh, My Dad loves yeah. that movie. <laughs> I've, I don't, that is I don't a dad movie. movie. It's such a dad movie. What's it about? Uh, the USS Nimitz is an aircraft carrier that That's goes dad, back through a portal in time oh, yeah. and that one they yeah. end up on the eve of Who's Pearl in Harbor. That one? Kirk Douglas, I Martin just, I, Sheen. Yeah, Dad movie. I, I'm already asleep movie. on Am the I couch on his a name Saturday. Isn't it John no. Farentino? Oh, I, I have no idea. He was in I have absolutely buried. watched that movie. Okay. <laughs> no I idea, definitely no napped on the couch while my dad watched that movie on like a Saturday afternoon. Yes, exactly. I, was up. Yep. Oh my God. I will say, because um, my dad my dad loved that movie and he never like told me what it was about. So when he actually made me watch it, I was not expecting the portal. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, oh, this is like a boring dad. shit movie. Yeah, I was yeah. like, well, it's my... blue laser 80s yeah. time travel yeah. portal. I was like, well, yeah. this is my dad, so yeah, it's going to be like a military movie. Yeah. And then, like, portal. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad, come on. I'm keep, awake now. I'm keep awake us with now. the good yeah. stuff. You like, didn't now tell you me got this. my attention. Usually it makes me watch, like, Convoy or something. Yeah. Oh, Convoy. Yeah, he oh, loves geez. Convoy. Yeah. Uh, Patriot movie... Games is my dad's. Oh, oh Patriot yeah. Patriot Games is good. It is good, but, oh, you could take a long nap to Patriot Games That's and, wait, and wake like up and still be like, all right, I'm still caught up. What's Harrison Ford doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It was James Farantino. James. James Farantino. Yeah, James oh, Farantino. That's right. That's right. Uh, this movie was also written by Nicholas Kazan mm-hmm. of Son the... Of- of the Hollywood Kazan family. Of the Kazan legacy. Yes, Kazan. Ilya Kazan is his father. Um, and Zoe Kazan is his daughter. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. What, else so what happened to her? 
She, I just she's saw her in stuff. something. Did she? Yeah. I, I feel like I haven't seen her in decade. I feel like I just decade. saw her yeah. in something. The whole truth, enough. 2002 is enough. Oh, that With is a movie Jennifer I've Lopez. seen on Jennifer TV Lopez a lot, enough. too. Oh my yeah. gosh. I, I watched that so many times. Uh, Bicentennial Man. Oh, she was in really? She Said. Yeah. Uh, Zoe Kazan. That, that was yeah. it, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. the newest one she's in. Yeah. Uh, Matilda. Really? Yes, this is all written. Uh, From the guy who wrote Fallen. Yeah, wow, yeah. Wow, okay. okay. Russell Fortune, right. Patty Hearst, back in 1988. Yeah. At Close Range in 86. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sean Penn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So we got uh, Hollywood. This is a this is a prestige movie. This is a Warner I mean, Brothers picture. Yeah, it's release. got <laughs> everybody, every actor ever in this. Every, like... <clears throat> How do you want? How do we want to categorize? Because it's got James Gandolfini, ninety centric, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's got yeah. John Goodman, Denzel Washington. It's got Donald Sutherland, mm-hmm. uh, and Beth Davids, and Beth Davids, yeah, Elias Cotillas. Okay, yeah. so yeah, and Beth Davids always kind of sticks out to me because it feels like she was supposed to be something bigger than she ended up being. Yeah. Right? What did we watch that she was in not too long ago? Um, we watched Thirteen that. Ghosts. Yeah, well, she, she maybe was in that Thirteen was Ghosts. It, but... She was in Army of Darkness. No, she was in something recently. But... Yeah, I thought she was in something maybe. recently. I think, yeah. I, I think I picked something else. Yeah, that had she, Beth it was, yeah. It was like, oh, Beth Davids. Was it or no? Like, yeah, we watched more... something recently. Yeah, I, I saw her just recently. Yeah. Something. Yeah. She was yeah. Schindler's List. She was in Fracture, actually. That uh, we were just talking about. Yeah. That makes sense. But, I mean, yeah, Thirteen Ghosts. The Hole. The Hole. The Hole. That's what it was. Yep. Yes. Oh, you were you not here for the Hole? Was I? The Kira Knightley movie. Didn't you? They literally went down in the hole. I did pick the hole. You picked the hole. (laughs) Didn't you pick it? (laughs) Yeah. It's your pick. I do this all the time. For some reason, I thought it was your pick, Sean. I thought you picked the hole. I've been really busy this year, you guys. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I totally didn't remember that. Holly, name your last four picks. (laughs) Cellar Dweller. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, that Fallen, was two of them. <laughs> so Fallen is a uh, I mean, I guess, you know, it's if you a, haven't seen it, we, we spoil what the what's going on here. It's a 90s uh, cop movie. It's yeah. Denzel Washington seven. Yeah, right. OK, so there's there. Well, that's yeah. A big part of it is a lot less gory. Aesthetic yeah. is yeah. taken from seven. I think mm-hmm. uh, the, a lot of the police procedural <laughs> and, kind of thing. Yeah. And camera shots yeah. from Alien three. <laughs> Basically, it has the alien vision in there. But it's got yeah. that really great 90s supernatural flair. Yeah. yeah. That late 90s supernatural yeah. flair that was yeah. going on. I yeah. remember, like, back in the day, like, I would actually, I think these are the types of movies I was trying to, like, write screenplays for. You yeah. Know? These supernatural cop drama. Yeah. This is my jam. Yeah, I know. This yeah. is like a thing. And then we were saying during the movie, like, uh, does this happen anymore? But then I was like, well, True Detective was kind of, you yeah, know, yeah, now they yeah, just do it over right. eight hours yeah. and it's, you know. On yeah. TV, um, but it's also a, a, a body happen movie. It uh, is. It's supernatural. That's right. Because yeah. we had uh, the hidden and, and shocker, and yeah. uh, who, who did it better? Uh, who was it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll, I shocker. think we'll say at the end and of this one. But, uh, I did. Guess I got a lot of Jason shocker goes vibes to earlier on. Yeah. Um, I know I was worried he was going to they were going to electric chair this guy. And I was like, oh, no, this oh is no. shocker all over again. Yeah, I wonder if they did that intentionally. Like we uh, the electric chair is overused. And because the way he was strapped into the chair even made it look like an yeah. electric chair. But, Ooh, but it's it's yeah, a good this, aesthetic choice. All, yeah. And this also falls under the late 90s. It wasn't just supernatural, but religious supernatural. Yeah. Right. Yes, religious. That's a big we're, thing we're in the late 90s. From end of days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And when is, it seems like there's a bigger gap between those two movies, <laughs> but it's only a year. When is frailty in here? That's. Uh, Early. That's after that's after the millennium. That's like two thousand and one, two thousand, two thousand one. Gotcha. So somewhere around there though, yeah. because yeah. You know, I think maybe that was the Y two K in the yep. end of days yeah. is kinda like, you know, everybody and had it, Is this a big ploy by by big religion to get us all believing in God again, oh, yeah. and trying to <laughs> scare people, us. Actually, I think people you might panic. be onto something because there was yeah. a lot of exorcism movies at yeah. this oh, time yeah. too. Yeah. And, the, and uh, the last Emily exorcism, yeah. the exorcism yeah. of Emily Rose. Yep. And then there, it, I feel like it came to a screeching halt with the that Hillary Swank movie, The Reaping, because I worked at the movie uh, theater oh, yeah. when it came out. Mm-hmm. That was like uh, the, the, all the plagues of the apocalypse yeah. movie yeah. with Idris yeah. Elba, and that movie was. Not well received. Was, and, yeah. Yeah. There was and a then, satanic resurgence in the night. Yeah, was. there was. But I mean, for, then, for the year two thousand. No, yeah, yeah. 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 You're all scared. Come and, up then, to that huh, and then, there's something here, guys. And then yeah, when it Brian passed something. and nothing happened, they're like, "Well, I guess the Mayans had something coming up, right?" Yeah, twenty twelve. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah but that's the thing. I, like I was gonna say, like now we make you know, the net. <laughs> does it? Uh, does it? You know, is it like whenever people feel like things are out of their control, it's always like you know, it's the devil. You know, and then you kind of fall back on that because, yeah. but it never really has gone away. Because I mean, we got the Pope's Exorcist out yep. right now. There's the yep. Exorcist trilogy on the oh, on the boy. horizon. 
It seems demons like, are back, what, dude. Pray, pray for the devil or whatever is yeah. a couple of weeks behind us at this point. So <laughs> yeah, uh, they, got, they just never go away. Talk no. to me's coming out. It's probably de- it looks like there's demons in that. Again, yeah, but now like it. religious. Yeah, we're talking about like Catholicism the nun, demons. The yeah, nun oh, yeah. yeah. Coming out. Like yeah. why is there a nun too? Cause yeah, Catholic demons, man. It's a it's a thing. Yeah. Um. Religion. Have, yeah, yeah. Religion. religion. Tales old. Terrifying. Time. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, but really, who yeah. who goes after them as much as the Catholics? I mean, yeah, the Catholics, Catholics really hit Catholics hard. have that like <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they get it pinned down because yeah. I don't think anybody else has like the hard and fast rules like of exorcism and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or it seems like uh, they always fall back on that. So yeah. the hard or, and fast rules of exorcism. That's right. Yeah, that's a <laughs> well, they're not hard and fast. They're they're rock solid. They're oh, yeah. that, uh, mm-hmm. they're written down in granite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Catholics they were tapped know out how to yeah. tell centuries ago. Um. So this is well. So the, I guess you know I was actually kind of wondering that watching it tonight i mean this i think this is the first time i've seen this since i saw it in the theater i remembered of course the ending and so that kind of <laughs> colors the whole movie going into the you know throughout yeah but i was wondering i'm like would it have been a better and i know somebody somewhere was talking about this when they were making it like if they um gave less overt visual clues as to what was going on I think. Like if you just kind of you're like, what is this kind of you know if they if they had a different title sequence so it wasn't like the demonic font you know yeah, kind of yeah. title sequence if you didn't have if it was the more warped, of a reveal and a surprise yeah. as we're going because yeah. they pretty much establish what it is. I mean, really right. I mean, front. yeah, truthfully, like ordinarily, I think maybe, but in I think under these circumstances, the whole time I'm like, how the fuck is he going to get out of this? And that was enough for me to okay. like get it through. Okay. I I I find that. The reveal of this information too early on makes this movie tedious and redundant for me. Like, I feel like we repeat a lot of the same scenes over and over again, and I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Because this movie's two hours and four minutes. It does not need that. It could have been shorter. True. My God, it is a long movie. I think you're right. I think there is a way to get rid of some of those visual clues, but and also condense the movie a little bit because it it does just kind of take its time, and it feels like the education of Denzel Washington. Yeah. Yeah, like it's just him learning. As we go along, I think we get a lot of great moments mm-hmm. out of that. But yes, it is two yeah. hours long, and uh, and again, we're here to say death to the two-hour movie. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> that's my personal. We're advocating here, here. the yeah. ninety-minute movie. The Bring 90 back the ninety-minute yep. movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's definitely something. I mean, we've talked about it on the show before about how it can be really tedious when we know exactly what's going on and we're just watching the character try to figure uh, it out. That was a lot of this yeah. movie yeah. for me. At least it felt that way. And I was like, why is this? It, it felt he's asking nuns about the apocalypse. It felt like there was a part in the, at the end of like maybe the second act where it felt like, okay, this is the end of the movie. And then there was still an hour left, really? you know, like, yeah. Like how many showdowns are we going to have with this demon possession before it's the final one? Right. You know, when he, I mean, I'm jumping way ahead here, but when he shoots that guy in the street, that feels like that should be the end of the movie. Right. And then it still goes for like another hour after that. Is there a character arc that you feel was completed there? Is that why it feels like it's, like something has it been felt like all the like, yeah well, I mean it's a you're going to jail and it's over like yeah. the end of seven or something like that I mean Spoiler, it's kind of like the, the end of the police procedural <laughs> part of it I mean he shot the of- body that was possessed by the demon and we ha- don't have all the rules at this point in time so as far as we know as the audience this should be the end of it right no because well, because he dies in the almost immediately in, yeah. yeah he dies yeah. going back up. yeah it was right. like at the very beginning like the first villain dies mm-hmm. and yeah. we see his right. body so we know that it can go from right body so that's after a redundant scene. We're yeah, saying that's that what they're, I'm saying. They're it's giving redundant. you the yeah. same information yeah. that you should already have mm-hmm. because they do it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think right, they do it, it way too a... fast up front. Yeah, that they exactly. reveal that like there's a body hopping demon in this. Oh yeah, yeah I agree. But it, it and it's um it, it's a moment. It's about crossing lines for Denzel Washington. I mean, what, what lines in his belief, like what he believes as far as what is possible in the world, and also lines as a human, a cop, where you know, um, uh, Azazel forced him to kill somebody like it's it's part of that game so we are crossing lines with the character and i think that's the point of these they may seem a little redundant but I th- it's about pushing denzel washington's character although it's maybe hard for this movie because denzel washington is a very calm actor mm-hmm. like he doesn't his, let's be honest he plays himself in everything he's in like this guy doesn't really stretch can. himself his very emotional far. level is very subdued mm-hmm. and it makes it hard to maybe gauge um have we seen Denzel Washington's movie? Ugly Cry? 
Not fat, ugly crying. No, 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 he's always pretty crying. It's always very controlled. Yeah, he's, he's a, a yeah. very stoic character. Yeah, I he is say, very I was, stoic, yeah. and that maybe is a uh, makes the movie harder or longer. It makes it a little more tedious. Is Denzel can. Washington a great actor? Yes, he's good at one thing. <laughs> and he's been, and he's been really smart and made a career out of being good at that one thing. So yes, he is good at one very specific thing. Does he is he a movie star? Yeah, absolutely. So he's I got think, charm I and charisma. Uh, yeah, star. yeah, exactly. I don't know if he's like I mean cuz you know, I guess the bar that you go off of is and I haven't seen all of his performances, right? <laughs> so I'm going to say that right off. Going yeah. off training day. Yeah. Uh <laughs> no training but did he win the Oscar for that? Yeah, one? That yeah. Was, yeah. It's that a very glory. powerful performance. Yeah, I remember Glory. Glory's really good. Yeah, cuz he good. stands out. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that is the uh the the character also, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. and the writing there. So yeah, okay. I'm I've just never with... seen him disappear into a role. Yes, that's you know? right. Yeah. Ever yeah. ever. He's yeah. always Denzel, yeah. you know. He's like I mean Tom Cruise is a really good actor too, I think, but he's always basically playing a variation exactly. of Tom Cruise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think Denzel Washington kind of occupies the same space. Right. Yeah. But even it's a smart even Malcolm X, he's just got he's, glasses. Yeah, on. yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And like, I think he, but I think like he, that's the smartest career path you could probably take, right? Is to play it safe and just always do what you know you're good at. Yeah, it's yeah. worked for him. I mean, yeah. is there a difference between the Man on Fire and the Equalizer? Not really. Is the same. No, character? he's he's made the same. He's made the same three movies like twenty times. No. He has yeah. three movies. In I'm his even arsenal, thinking you know? like like Philadelphia and Remember the Titans. Yeah, like, exactly. he's really not any different. No. no. Well, the one that uh, I thought was. Uh, kind of interesting when i googled him uh francis i think is that the name of the movie comes up as hmm. like the the movie that he you know like the first thing on sorry not google but on imdb gotcha and i'm mm-hmm. like doesn't imdb usually give you like here's the movie that you know him from? <laughs> here's what you would yeah. know. i think and that I they think can that have was, some input into that but didn't he direct that movie or he had some mm. like uh, what is that movie on, so, it's like a i want to say it is like based on a play and so i think it's like a single room or it's a very small i'm i'm, hmm. I'm drawing a bank blank i because i didn't see it it didn't interest me at all from when so, like uh i would say within 10 years michaela is captain google oh yeah i'm curious francis or fences it could be fences yeah I fences think, well, that's fences, like a okay, that's fences, yeah okay. fences is like a period drama i watched fences that movie was the yeah. play he was in and yeah they made did he direct a movie it? about it i don't know if he i don't it. know if he, but that was the movie Viola he Davis did with viola and she won the oscar yeah she's snotty crying and that yeah Fences. Yeah, fences, yeah. yeah. Originally had Again, Bill it had Jones in it. No interest to me, so I, I Yeah, clearly I Francis. Yeah. Francis. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck is Francis? I was like, Francis? what are you talking about? I'm like, I know Francis. With an F and there's a C and an E in it. Fences, yeah, very different. No. Yeah, he directed that. He did. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 So that's the one he's most proud of. Yeah. I'm betting yes. probably oh, yeah, everything yeah. that he's mm-hmm. done because there's a very personal yeah. investment in it. Mm-hmm. Um but so he plays a cop. Uh Hobbs. Shocker, right? Right. Yeah. You guys can you believe this? Denzel plays I a cop. am shocked. Yeah. Yep. Um but this was like fairly early on his uh, we did virtuosity on this show, which was uh that was I think like he was trying to do some kind of populist, you know, mm-hmm. uh entertainment, hit the you know, just bring bring me the money. You know, <laughs> the kids are all into virtual reality and I, maybe he is, yeah. you know, and he's like, This is cool and I want to be in a sci fi thing. Denzel Washington has no idea what virtual reality is. Oh yeah. Maybe he's way into it. His kids in nah, he's uh, like a movie star. He like Christopher Nolan like, in that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can we? Yeah. His kid. How? How is the son of Denzel Washington such a vacuum of charisma? That kid is nothing. <laughs> how did that happen? Like, does your dad just like you have all the charisma so no one else gets any? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was wow. not impressed with his performance in Tenet. I'll tell you that. It was just yeah, like, that's not this his guy's best a nothing. Movie. Yeah, I got a big Scott Eastwood energy from yeah. him. Oh. <laughs> well, it's that stoicism again. I think it's yeah. like if they're not actually, they can work you know, against you. Uh, you have to be a charming person to pull yeah. it off. Mm. And they're not very performative. Those are, you know, always the heroes in in those type of action movies are always very. Uh, they're the least interesting characters, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So that's why everybody loves playing the villains. They have mm-hmm. something to do. Um, see Russell Crowe in uh, Virtuosity. I think we <laughs> yeah, actually talked yes. about that yes. on that episode. How bad Denzel came off uh, yeah. compared to Comparatively. I, when Crow. I think of that show. movie, I just think of him pulling the oh, wire out of his arm and plugging into the bomb. And they're like, I like it works. Saved. Everyone <laughs> saved. The movie it's said it worked, yeah. so it worked. It's all good. Um, so he is a police officer who has taken down in the Philadelphia serial in Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia. Philadelphia. It's there important. Was a lot of debate about where this took place. Yeah, we're like, is it New movie? York? Well, it's got not the accents. Los Angeles. Where is it? So Philadelphia. Philadelphia, a strange choice, but maybe not. It uh, is picturesque. Yeah. Um, it takes place in the fall. 
There's a lot of uh, uh, magic hour shots in this. The cinematography is really beautiful. Yeah, at yeah. Some point it is. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I'm going to say a name, but I think I'm doing it wrong. I think it's Thomas Newton Siegel. Is that the guy? That doesn't sound right. It's I like don't think three so. of those. There are two, at least two of those names. Like, I don't know. But uh, credit to you, sir, the cinematographer on this movie. Yep, there was so a, much golden. There were a shots couple it. shots where, like, Denzel was standing in a doorway and he was like perfectly like three point <laughs> lighting. I was yeah. like, the cinematographer is patting himself on the back for this one. <laughs> he that should. is a great shot. Um, but anyway, so he's a cop with the Philadelphia PD, and mm. uh, he's caught this uh, serial killer yes. because uh, if it, you kind of get that Silence of the Lambs. Uh, mm-hmm. vibe right because mm-hmm. this movie does kind of borrow heavily from stuff that you've already seen Indeed. well heavily it's it feels familiar Let's it's, put it this was well, the, but this we talked about this was the like style of the time yeah, right yeah. Yeah. seven of time. kicked off yeah. this is what this. It is. Yeah. it's just the recipe yeah yeah because yeah, we did copycat which was another warner yeah. brothers yeah. movie that yeah. also kind of had that uh because harry connick jr was the, the <laughs> yeah. killer Jesus. that you have to go talk to god that bathroom scene with sigourney was traumatizing yeah, in that movie <laughs> i think about tough. that you can go back and listen to our episode on that one also. We've yep. covered like everything at this point. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> we can, I like that we can reference movies that, you know, it's like, well, we probably did an episode. Would you out. say The Cell is in that? Because The Cell was what, 2000? If it wasn't so like weird bizarre yeah. More, yeah, it would be more yeah. sci-fi but it does but yeah but it, yeah. it does come from like the serial killer yeah like you yeah. know 90s it's, yeah. it's a subgenre it's yeah. in there it's yeah. a subgenre it's of a subgenre yeah, yeah gotcha. it's in there maybe yeah. that's why this one that. doesn't necessarily feel like the serial killer movie although i know you know yeah it feels more like a police mystery right it does yeah yeah than a serial killer with the then you go, kind of lean into the occult it doesn't like lean into the occult as much as I guess I expected. I mean, there are scenes in churches, but they're not mm-hmm. actually like, you know, running around consulting a priest and, you know, like, oh, yeah. Um, there is a. Uh, I think amb- I kind of I I like that, though. I do. Too. Like, it's, it's, like it's not a religious movie. It's right. just yes. that happens to be the big bad they're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I like that because it lends itself to a yeah. more realistic. Like the resource is not a priest. It's a professor. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's not heavily religious. Well, it, it's more it's more it's the scientific side of religion. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's It does, yeah. What yeah. kind of are that, you talking about? <laughs> just kind of the way they discuss it within this movie. It doesn't go so far. It doesn't go crazy with its sort of religious ideas in this yeah. or themes. It's, it keeps it pretty uh, pretty covered. I don't yeah, because you're right. It off. doesn't. Uh, you know, at some point, I suppose uh, a different movie would go like, "There's a demon, and we need we need Jesus." Yeah, right. Yeah, more, it doesn't more crosses and priests. And priests. It doesn't yeah. feel. Like, it doesn't feel like you have to have faith in anything. It feels more like, does anything even matter? Yeah, which is what Denzel gets <laughs> yeah. to at a certain point. But it's also like, all right, is like I'm just a cop. How do I fight it? Yeah. And there is you get ways the Jesus. To do, and well, yeah, but, <laughs> but there is ways to do that. Just him being a cop, which is nice. He doesn't have to like. Oh, my, he's got to believe in God by the end of this movie in order to vanquish the bad guy. Yeah. Thank that God. Oh my God. I'm no. so glad that this movie didn't go there. Yeah. Right. Was going, yeah. This is an end of days. If yeah. it was, oh, that's right. I was going to say if they did it 20 years prior, they would have done that. But end of days did it the very next. There you go. Year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, uh, anyway, the serial killer is uh, Elias Cotillas, mm-hmm. and he speaks in uh, ancient Aramaic. Aramaic. Which I like that that was about the time that I started hearing about, like, what in you know, movies always, like, you hear this kind of like, yeah, you know, actually the Bible was written in uh, Aramaic. And then uh-huh. all of a sudden the movies pick up on that, and yep. then it becomes like buzzwords that they use. Sure. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. Wasn't Aramaic. the Passion of the Christ all in Aramaic? Or yeah. Like that, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Went, mm-hmm. And did yep. the whole thing that way, um, but dude, that's a torture of, porn movie. I'm it sorry, it really is. One. It counts uh, as a torture porn yeah, movie. The, it really the, is. The Christian Chainsaw Master. Yeah, it re- <laughs> yes, it is. That's exactly what it is. Well, that's dude. kind of why I liked it though, because yeah. it was a fucking horror movie. There's demons yeah. and you know, those people right. never wa- have <laughs> gone to a movie and yelled Jesus more yeah. than in the Passion of the Christ. Dude, yeah. those people were watching the Grindhouse movie and they didn't they even didn't know even it. Know they it, didn't yeah. even know it. I was one of those people. I worked at the movie theater when that came out. That was a wild time. Uh, yeah. If you can take this, then I got a movie for it. Anyway, right. um, <laughs> Have you heard of Cannibal Holocaust? <laughs> um, I'd rather watch Jesus die. <laughs> so. You'd rather, rather watch him get those can of nine tails of the eye, dude? That's Oof. the part no, I always that's think That's the only part yeah. I think about. Is oh, the yeah, same. Ripping Dicks the flesh in his off skin of and yeah. like pull it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
That is um, a, gore wow. porn. But movie. it's also yeah. happening to Jim Caviezel, who's a fucking. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah he's he, like, a terrible lost person. Fucking, now. He lost his mind. Yeah, so he's whatever. A let's torture now, him. So, yeah. um, but anyway, uh, the uh, so the demon. Well, it, it, so we find out. I guess maybe that's the thing. Like uh, the cop doesn't understand what's going on here. Yeah. Right. He's got to solve this mystery because what happens is the serial killer is executed, mm, gas but chamber. then a series of bizarre murders begin to take place that have circumstances that are impossible, but also seem to be a copycat killer. See, I'm yes. saying they should not, th this would have been, I think I would have preferred it if I didn't know going into it, that it was a, uh, you know, like a supernatural killer. If you could have left it like, well, this is, this is a movie that takes place in a hardcore reality. And mm -hmm. how in the fuck is this possible? Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of keep on like, as the character starts going, like, ah, man, it's not adding up. It's as not adding up. Maybe I think they could be. I think they want that because they do yeah. those things with the characters. But again, we've revealed too soon. Yeah, yeah. And but so the language is so we're ahead. Not subtle in this movie. Like mm -hmm. they like literally they explain so much what is happening to such a dumb degree that it's hard to. Like what? Apply any subtext. I don't know. I can't think of a specific line right now. But there was a lot of just like direct, like stating what is happening. Oh, yeah. in this no, movie. I can yeah. think of the scene yeah. because it was the big expedition exposition dump in yeah. Act Two, where he had a, uh, a confrontation with Embeth uh, Davids. Mm -hmm. right? When he's walking around her in that courtyard, yeah, I like yeah. that. I scene. I did not like, like that. But I like that cop. scene, and I believe in rational things. Yes, and I believe. You know, oh, I'm like, I like okay, that scene we, a lot. We've established <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're a cop. Uh, you believe in? I mean, you're 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 telling the audience in dialogue things that a I think we already know. But he B, can't, are yeah. like archetypes of that type of character. So it's like, yeah, right. I get it, dude. Right. I think I just like the acting. But that scene I think I just like watching well, Denzel move but, around. But, that, oh, but that scene doesn't work though because he comes to her and asks her the question, and then she says, "Yeah, you're right." And he's like, "Wait, you're telling me?" It's like <laughs> you brought this information to her, and now you mm -hmm. don't believe it. It doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah. he literally just I think he may happen. have been, yeah. he may have been hoping that she had been like, "No, it's not that." Did you read it that way? I think he's. I think Denzel's character is struggling to find answers. And he's very confused at this point. Right, but so we he's, tell, he's, he's but like, tells us that what, a lot. This yeah. is what, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> right, but, but when like, someone, this is what I know. But when someone says your answer's correct, and then he says, what? My answer's correct? How dare you? That doesn't but make any all, sense. Well, that's a big realization to be like, you know, there's demons. They inhabit people. But he's saying he Some doesn't believe it. Some of us have been it. sent here to fight them. But he's, that's him struggling with that. Just, that's him being one thing before and then having to come to terms don't with Don't ask a question you don't want the answer to, you know? like. But also, <laughs> but also that is human nature. Yeah. That is how we react when we. Yeah, I I there are things that we don't kind of, want to accept. Yeah, I guess, and he's. I think he's hoping that this is not true. He thinks that everything adds up to this, and he brings it to her. And he's like, "All right, mm -hmm. tell me this is not true, because I'm a cop." And she's and like, "She's it, like, it is. she's like, it is true." He's like, "What?" Telling me, and then he that's lays a, I out. Think that's a completely believable reaction for that. I think that's how you can get away with it. I mean, if not the right, because I think in a movie, I, maybe we're just conditioned to accept it. Also, you know, it's like there it's is like, that okay, the character's having a tough time, you know, reconciling the existence of the supernatural. But I think at this point in the movie, he has witnessed things that are blatantly supernatural. Yeah, that it doesn't seem like he should be. Because I guess the way that I took it, and again, you know, I, I watch movies from the point of view of like, I know how the, the sausage is made, yeah. right? right? So you sit there going like, who gave the note that, you know, basically at this point, you better, you better, uh, you better explain to the audience what's happening because <laughs> we did a test screening or something or some, uh, you know, mm -hmm. somebody read the script and they were like, meh, let's put in there something where he actually explains what the hell's going on. And you know what I actually thought? There's one point, right, where the killer is leaving. Uh, 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 writes on the uh, victim's chest a uh, series of letters and we're like okay it says apocalypse and he actually Denzel Washington's character on a train just kind of uh, sees a nun sitting there and has to like the, so sister if I what, what's the word apocalypse mean You've to heard you the word apocalypse before and, but I was <laughs> I was actually sitting there going like oh this is for the foreign market or something you know I'm like this is a scene that's in the movie because they want to make sure that wherever this plays in every territory that people understand what the hell we're talking about. And I'm like, well, wouldn't you cut that out of the American or maybe like American audiences are dumb. Maybe they put that in there because they were like, we did a test screening without that. Yeah. Scene. Nobody that understood what the, what was written on their chest. 
Oh, uh, do we not know what the apocalypse was back in 1998? I guess no, we, we did. did. Uh, Y2K like did. was right around yeah, the corner. Yeah. We definitely like we did. did. Apocalypse yeah. was a word that was bandied around. It has been bandied around forever. Yeah. Apocalypse yeah. now in 1979. Yeah, exactly. Funny, he like pronounced it wrong. He's so unaware of the word. Yeah. He's like, apolic. <laughs> you know this word? Yeah. Miss none. It's like okay, well maybe you know even though he says he goes to church every once in a while, maybe he's not. A yeah, that's the other thing. Like, I don't think he does. Yeah, it never actually like listen. It's just, it's just a poorly written moment. Like yeah. they, they it's a moment they don't need. They, they don't need it, and it could have if they absolutely wanted it, it could have been rephrased and, and like and they could have oh, just added it to an Mbeth Davids like yeah yeah like part yeah just be like where in where in the Bible does it reference the apocalypse? Mm-hmm. Easy question. Most people don't know that answer. You can ask that question. Well, let me ask you, you know? this. Okay. So the inclusion of the whole killer leaving apocalypse written, him finding out apocalypse means revelation. Where does that take us? Like, why is it necessary? Am I forgetting something? This is the education of Denzel Washington. No, but what does it add to the... like? That I mean, it's supposed supply. to be stakes. It's supposed to be like the world's going to end if yeah, you don't they're, solve that's, it. They're saying but, like his, his overall mission is the apocalypse. Right, because even, yeah, they eventually believe, like, what what do they want? It's like, well, they want to see the downfall of civilization. Yeah, but I, yeah. I would say that that exchange that you just outlined right there, like, did it without Simpler, having... Without having... The 10 minutes of the, the running time. Devoted to this subplot. I agree. Yeah. That's we, what, this could be yeah. uh, uh, condensed. That's what Michaela said it earlier. There's a lot that's it's redundant. replayed in this movie, mm-hmm. yeah. and it could have been cut. Yeah. A it's, lot I, shorter. I think the replay. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, well, I was say the replaying feels like it's more for the character than us, which means it's not, which means we don't need it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, there are other people in this movie who basically play other cops. This is. Uh, are. John Goodman plays his partner, Jonesy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we love Goodman. John Goodman. Not enough. John Goodman. Not enough for my He's taste. He's so good. He's got some of the best Great. lines in the movie. Just offhanded, smart ass remarks. Yeah. It's one of those parts where you're like, "Why'd you? Why'd you do this?" And then you're like, "Oh, because he gets to do all the good. He gets all the good the, stuff in the, the movie." Well, what was his line about Italian food? What, what did he say? Italian food like, was made like, to uh, like make us or to give us. Uh, He's talking what? about pizza. It's like, how dare you talk about? Like, yeah, like, Italian food is is the goodest thing ever. And the way he says <laughs> it is, it's it's you know, made to bring you joy or love right. or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah, I gotta look it up. That was like the best yeah, line of this movie. It's made to bring you joy in this world. I think if I could pick someone in Hollywood to be my dad, it'd be John Goodman. Oh, yeah. John Goodman yeah. is everyone's dad. Yeah. Well, uh, Donald Sutherland is the... Um, Lieutenant. No yeah. nonsense. Yeah. No nonsense. He, has, he makes some weird choices. He, he gives off a vibe in this movie. I don't know. It's not like the... Because I think, you know, part of it is, you know, you always have the lieutenant is like, you know, I'll cover for you as much as you can. Stop blowing up the it. city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, stop leaving all those dead bodies in your wake. I can right. Really but he's so not. But he's not a fun boss in any regard. No. He, it, 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 you, it does feel off because it feels like he's he's not like this should be a pretty straight character as far as being a lieutenant and mm-hmm. everything. And he doesn't like maybe he gets suspicious and everything as it goes on. But he's kind of rough, oh, gruff <laughs> off the back. I got the line. What's the line? It was, if it wasn't for pizza and other fine Italian foods, there would be no happiness. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We yes. we literally like cheered when he said like, that. Yes. Yeah. But and then we ordered pizza. <laughs> yeah, and then we ordered pizza because we were all really hungry John after he Goodman said that. Convinced us. Yeah, I the, the relationship between Donald Sutherland and uh, Denzel is it seems to me very Dokes Dexter. Like I'm on yes. to you, and I'm gonna show your ass in front of everybody. And it does. I mean, but with a watch little, Dexter, <laughs> but like with a little more um, like complex undertones, like yeah, it's like power they, dynamic. They like play. each other, mm. but they like want to do their job. Yeah, I, it's yeah. But he's yeah. like, I've had your number since day one. You freak, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Because I guess they have a you know. I mean, because it seemed like again, you, you know, these parts. Sometimes I'm sitting there going like, they don't really seem all that well fleshed out for the the mm-hmm. actor the caliber of actor that they got to play them so mm-hmm. it's like they kind of have to amuse themselves in some way of like right. making this like they might not be which is why the and, and they may have let the actors like I do you for this like make it your own and everything maybe it was underwritten and they're just like we got to cast it really well just to you know make up for it make up for it yeah, <laughs> yeah. gandolfini's in this too gandolfini's in this with a I think mustache he's great he looks great with a mustache i think dude that should rock a, the mustache all the time that but is a mustache it's a good yeah, he's another cop was this Jealous. the same year the soprano started 
99 <laughs> Sopranos started? I don't know. I think I I, I've never watched The Sopranos. Uh, yeah. uh, Guess what? It's a lot of him going to therapy. Uh, yeah. Believe it or not. That's what I hear. <laughs> it really is. It's pretty mundane of a show, actually, but it's, I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. They woke yeah, up but morning. like the it's literally him going to talk to his therapist in between those scenes. Yeah. That's <laughs> fine. I like people <laughs> talking. Well, he Sopranos plays. Was um, 99, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Gandolfini's uh, cop is like, I mean, I guess I'm like, what what part do they play? Are they foils to the character? There's a scene early on, which I think is a character moment for Denzel that uh, is like mm-hmm. Gandolfini's scene in the movie mm-hmm. where he basically it comes off like he's a corrupt cop who takes, you know, uh, payments on the side. Mm. And would Denzel ever do it? So Denzel like, about it. nope, he's a straight shooter. Mm-hmm. He's a straight arrow. OK, we got it. You know, and then it's like, okay, I don't know that uh, Gandolfini has like another like real moment in the movie. You know, I mean, he has just regular kind of scenes. Yeah, not particularly. He's the more again gruff cop. In yeah, there. just little jokes here and there. Little jokes here and yeah. there. He's kind of yeah, and always eating something. Always he had the something. turkey leg in that one scene. Yeah, he did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. again, yeah. I think these are these are car- you know like yeah. these are actor things. <laughs> like what are, you got to be eating a sandwich it's or something. Like, no, I'm eating a fucking I- turkey leg in this scene. <laughs> it's just like all right. Yeah. Um, uh, there. So the 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 murders are uh, the killer sings a song. Uh, before he's mm-hmm. killed, he sings the Rolling Stones. Time is on my side. That's mm-hmm. the name of the song. I hope, right? That's the main chorus. Is that what it's called? Is that the actual name of it? Is that the actual name of it? Uh, time is on time? my side. Time. Michaela's Captain Google. I, yeah, tonight. I was like, I'm not a Stones person. Yeah, so I, I mean, I know yet. "Sympathy for the Devil," which is played over the end. Everybody's yeah, screaming yeah. at us right now. It's like, yeah, of course. It's, okay, so should be. <laughs> but that becomes, I, I was like, I like the Stones. Yeah, that's that what it's called. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and that becomes a refrain throughout the movie because there's a body hopping uh, serial killer demon, and so whenever the a character sings. That means that that person is then possessed because that's what's happening. Yes. Uh, at death row, uh, the the spirit leaves the body and then takes possession of somebody else and then it bounces around throughout the movie. Yeah. Its goal is to. I mean, eventually uh, take over Denzel Washington, yeah. but it destroy wants the to. world. It yeah. wants to take over Denzel Washington, but can't seem to. Not by hand touch anyway, which is how he transfers with other bodies. Is that ever explained? Did I miss that? I, uh, think, I think there are certain says, people that are stronger than the normal. Stronger in what? Right. Willpower? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think it was ever explained why he, it can't enter. Yeah. I don't think necessarily Just it is. If it can't, then it can, uh, it can, when it leaves the body, like if you kill a person, then it leaves the body and becomes more stronger because it's fighting for its life and it, then no man can resist it. And can okay, well, I have more problems with the end of this movie now then. <laughs> as long as it gets out of a body but yeah. you can't only get out of a body by touching somebody else mm-hmm. but to go yeah. corpor or incorporeal it has to be killed or somehow um or the the host has to die yes uh these are rules that are given out by yes. ambeth davis who is the uh, daughter of a police officer that the demon had a similar Azazel, altercation 30 years prior yeah so this is the demon is just like fucking around like this is how he fucks around on yeah. earth he's like he gets these cops and then corrupts them basically by planting evidence and making it seem like they're serial killers or something yep there's a uh, history and now he's going to do it to uh denzel um and she is the daughter of the cop who this went this happened before yes and we find out that he went off into a cabin in the woods and killed himself but was he up to something else you don't have to stay mm-hmm. tuned. Mm-hmm. So um, Denzel Washington has a subplot. Oh, <laughs> That's what you call his brother. Oh, <laughs> a heartbreaking <laughs> subplot <laughs> with his special touched brother. Is I was gonna going to ask. There? I was going to. I didn't know how to delicately He's ask. Is there supposed to be some sort of mental deficiency here? A little bit. It's got to be because I, I don't know because nothing's ever said explicitly. I, so I don't no. know. Yeah. I can't uh, tell if not. it's the actor's just way that he interpreted it. If yeah. it's something natural about the actor and the way that he no, performs. I've seen him act before. Oh, you have. Yes. Okay. So this no, is this, not, is, uh, this no, is a there's... deliberate choice. Yeah, I think this is why. I mean, it, it, the the character his wife has le- or girlfriend has left him with his son mm-hmm. um his they're living with denzel washington at this point and he doesn't seem i mean and in, and just based on the posters hanging in his room like he's got sports posters up on the wall and everything and this, it's just he's very childlike but he also shares a room with his son yeah yeah are they in the same room yeah that yeah. seems like a really big apartment 
They were in the same room. Were they in the mm-hmm. okay. They have twin beds. Still, well, well, I think that's why they get along so well. As but. an angel on this earth, he is like one of the most incorruptible uh, yeah. people. He's which very, of course he's means very sweet and very simple. Think like yes, he's think like Forrest Gump. You know, he's not totally not even that bad. He's not totally like maybe far like gone, flowers for Algernon or something. Yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> he's just kind of simple and sweet. Yeah, I guess yeah. the movie actually does uh, address it because I think at one point in the basketball game, the kid says something. Yeah. And Denzel's like, respect your dad. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cherish what you got. So it's not a bad idea because you're giving, you got to give the, if the, if the main character isn't married, cause that's usually where you go first, right? Yep. The, the wife is in danger. The girlfriend's in danger. This mm-hmm. one's like, we're going to give him a brother with a kid. We're going to put both of them in danger. And we know because the guy is basically <laughs> an angel on earth that something bad's going to happen mm-hmm. to this, this, this feels- family. Manipulation, feel, yeah. maybe. It <laughs> yeah. feels like an added layer of cruelty it that is. is unnecessary. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm, well, that's what I'm saying. It's it's just further punishing Denzel Washington. Yeah, character. it's just, and the audience, like, it's yeah. punishing the audience too. It is. Like, it's it's and like you said, Holly, it's yeah. so obvious when they set it up too that that is it just. They needed to amp it up a little bit, yeah. so they yeah. did, and I I don't know how I feel about that. Mm-hmm. I'm, well, they are trying to manipulate you. Yeah. Not that I'm against that, because, I mean, obviously, this is what you're going to take away from this movie, yeah. is the feeling that yeah. this subplot gives you, I so mean, it's to, effective. to be fair, like, A, I'm glad they didn't go with, like, a romance plot, yeah. and B, it's more effective than a romance plot. Yeah. <laughs> so, if that's what they're going for, like, success, but... I guess yeah. it, it leaves me with a lot of questions about what led up to this family unit situation you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying like well, see, it seems like there's a lot of backstory here we're and not it's getting. interesting that you said that you thought that uh, the guy's wife left because i thought marcy was denzel washington i thought it was denzel's wife yeah and that her left. girlfriend she left because the brother yeah, it was and the, his son because moved, yeah in. But, you know you right, but, all, know. but someone also left the brother yeah and I he mentioned some it. point no, I think he's mentioning Denzel's wife. Yeah, they never mention what happens to Sam's mom. They're saying just Marcy left because of him. Yeah, and yes. Denzel's yeah. like, well, okay. family comes first. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he was so like, like he was you. like, no, yeah. if she had loved me, she would have stayed. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't yeah. your fault. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Which is like, wow, this family is incredibly complicated before this movie's even starting. Like, yes. So weirdo murders are happening that are impossible, but we get to see the killer actually <laughs> doing it. With uh, cornflakes. Cornflakes. Cornflakes <laughs> and milk and sugar. Yeah, so it's basically you go to these seemingly unrelated crime scenes, but everything's staged the same. Oh my God, how is this possible? Because it's different killers right, doing the murder. jumps in a body, murders someone, this jumps brings... in a different body, then murders the body he was in beforehand yeah. so that they can't trace it. He uses a cat as a taxi at some point to get between bodies. I, know, That's, I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah, just, well, but they don't do anything with it though. Like any more than just the cat walking from one person Michaela, to another. Michaela, if they did any more, the cat would die, and then we'd all be yelling at me. <laughs> like, if ma- the cat no. stays in the movie too long, it's going to die. He makes a good point. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, <laughs> I don't know. We saw Sleepwalkers, you know. Yeah. Like well, actually, died. you know what I thought of when we were watching this movie? For some reason, I thought of The Exorcist Three, oh. which also was like about trying to pose, uh, you know, killings to a police officer that you can't. It rationally explain and therefore you'll have to eventually accept the uh the existence is, of the supernatural you're right um the so the, the 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 scene that i'm still caught up on right Ooh. denzel washington wakes up uh one more and of course the well no i guess before we get there um so th- i think the centerpiece scene of the movie that you're going to remember if you saw well aside from the ending if you saw fallen is uh there is a body hopping sequence that takes place on a street where basically mm-hmm. at that point in the movie, uh, it was like the cops are flummoxed. They're just like, I don't know. This is beyond me. I can't, I can't figure yeah. this well, out. Well, it's all coming together mm-hmm. as links. I mean, Denzel Washington's being told by Donald Sutherland to whatever you uncover regarding this case, keep it to yourself as far as its connections to the past mm-hmm. and M. Beth Davis's dad who killed mm-hmm. himself in the cabin. So they're being told hush, hush on that. Um, this is, uh, this is where everybody starts singing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cops included. Cops first. Yeah, because the serial killing Azazel, who we discover is his name because uh, the other cop figured it out, mm. um, which is, I think, a demon in the Bible. I remember like using that name yeah. myself in several like little short stories and whatever. It was a good one. scapegoat. 
Yeah, it's a good one. Azazel. It sounds mean. It's got it a lot does. of Z's in it. Um, <laughs> Z's. But, All those angles. Uh, was, evil, evil Z's. Evil Z's. Was, was there an Azrael or was that just Gargamel's cat? I think there's also. Azra- well, no. Uh, what was Azrael? You got it. Azrael. That was from. What movie did we watch where somebody had that fucking southern accent? <laughs> and it was like, Azrael. It's a thing. Is that Devil's Advocate? Yeah. It sounds like something that would happen in Devil's no, Advocate. No, I'll think about it later. But... Keanu was that ridiculous southern accent. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever play a game called Special Places? I think about that Is all the time. Southern accent? <laughs> yeah. Have you oh, not seen Devil's Advocate? Oh, you should not see like Devil's Advocate. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. we got to bring Devil's like Advocate to the show. <laughs> um, Heather Maserato was the, the molestation victim, wasn't she, in the beginning of that? Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, really? Really? Heather, Heather Maserato. She's, was she? Yeah, she's mm-hmm. the girl in the standing. Oh, she? Okay, I remember that. Um, that's been so, on my list for a while. Yeah, same here. It's gonna come sooner than later, I think. Well, well yes, this the, scene. I uh, the scene where there is the like you said, the body hopping scene, the sequence that we yeah, because the killer's showing off at this. He point. is, he's and he's toying with him. He hops into uh, Gandolfini's body, Lou, and uh, I, I like the scene because he, he's questioning um, Denzel Washington, and Denzel's kind of um, curious at this point, and then he starts singing to him. And this is where Denzel starts like having. Uh, no pun intended, kind of an out of body experience as far as like what's happening to him because he knows this song, he knows where it comes from, and he's got people. He he starts to see what's happening here. Yeah, he watches as one person touches another. It's human dominoes, as Michaela said, going down the street. And yeah, this is not not to, very exciting. Yeah, so <laughs> this this demon just has to touch you and you're possessed, uh, and not like skin to skin contact, like just touching you anywhere. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of vague. Um, it would have it would have been more effective if this was our first reveal. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you don't like point, watching a bunch of people be... fall down and touch each other in the back. <laughs> I mean, usually I do, but <laughs> that would I think we if this was the first reveal, that would have been more have shocking to... or something. Yeah, like, oh, oh, shit. I'm, I'm trying to think of what we'd have to cut out before to all this point. the all killer the point of view stuff, stuff. Yeah. Well, or anything where you're with the character right. the dude killer. i can any of the three killers that are characters that were found in the bathtub dead and all so all this stuff's gone i can think of a dozen more ways that uh, that you could convey this in an interesting way you know mm-hmm. give it make it a mosh pit at a concert <laughs> make it a fucking elevator and just going around the same eight group of people all as they go up to the top of it you know like it a bunch of people walking in a group on a sidewalk all touching each other in the back in a row like they're forming a human chain is not exciting to the watch. The mosh pit idea is yeah. interesting. Yeah, but I, <laughs> first of all, I want to get I want to get Denzel to that point in yeah. the movie where he's in a he stumbles upon Lollapalooza pit. and then he gets right. knocked around a mosh pit. Yeah. Like the killer is running away and he ends up running into Lollapalooza. Because they would just be ping ponging around. Yeah, <laughs> it does. The girl's showing the her tits yeah. and yeah. she's like, "Wait, what am I doing?" Yeah, yeah. but I think you're he right. A band if member. Yeah, you, you right. keep in like all the discoveries of the bodies and yeah, the crime yeah. scenes, but you take out all the point of view of the killer. Yeah. you know, yes. jumping bodies and stuff. So this would be that's, your that's big. That's like twenty minutes right there. And there's how you do it. Right. That's how we shorten the movie. We're going to do an edit of this. We're going to take out all the point of view shots of the the, the demon thing and all this other stuff. Um, I feel some... like we just want Fincher to make this movie. Yeah. 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 We lose some. Yeah. We lose... Yeah. I mean, that's what we yes. want. Yeah. We would lose some Denzel Washington VO, which there's a voiceover in this movie. Did not care for that. Nope. Didn't love it. Do Especially at the end. If, really did not care for it. If we got rid of it. This movie starts with, literally with the. I bet you're wondering how I got here. It basically does. Yes. That movie's sweet. We're supposed well, to take this says, movie uh, seriously. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about the time I almost died. Yes. Yeah. Do this, you think this is a. This movie inspired Gotti. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did. Do you think this is A, a weakness of the movie, B, a thing they put in after the movie was done? Or no, do you think I this think was this, written. This was this written. Is the in, movie. This I think was it was the thing that got okay. the movie made, I think, yeah. is, you know. Like some Cause somebody's reading game. it and they're like, yeah, and like, oh shit, because that's the big twist. Yeah, right. Is that Denzel narrating the movie is actually uh, 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 Zazel mm-hmm. narrating the movie? You know, like, oh, to be I remember. fair, it got me. <laughs> yeah, see, I was, well, I was, see, that's what I was wondering because <laughs> did. Had, you two hadn't seen this. No, Holly I had not, seen, Holly this, had not no. seen this movie before tonight. So I was wondering. I'm just like, does it kind of. Do anything at the end of this? Well, when I saw the movie the first time, it got—I remember it got me too because I were just was like racking my brain, going like, "Wait, you're killing him!" But I remember at the beginning, like this, that he almost died, and then he dies, and you're like, oh, "What the fuck?" You're like, "Oh, who?" It are doesn't you? make any sense. See, it you got me—it got me beyond that because I didn't remember at the beginning when he's like, "I almost died." I totally forgot. And he that. says, "Like you forgot." 
Did I did yeah. forget. He yeah. was He's right. Talking to you, Holly. <laughs> he was talking right to me. Yeah. This, this fourth wall breaking is very strange for this type of movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because who is this guy strange. talking to in the yes, future? Yes, exactly. Is he talking to us in a movie theater? Yeah, Who's, right. It's just like... Recorded? It's just like, this is, it's very This strange. is the second half of the documentary they started shooting? Yeah. yeah. It's just like the beginning of Gotti. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> All right, so... The camera. Here's I'm what, dead. Here's, yeah. here's the scene that I'm, I'm perplexed with, and we talked about this during the movie, but the, the listener has to hear it. So uh, 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 Denzel Washington is apparently shooting down, they keep saying an innocent man in the street. A Denzel teacher. knows that he's an innocent man because he's possessed, but the guy has a gun and he points it at Denzel and Denzel blasts him away. And then he's basically like with put on, on <laughs> suspension, you know, because of this. Yeah, it's like daylight. And yeah. Daylight, the there of the are witnesses. Yeah. Kind of like the guy pointed a gun at him, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but the one witness is, can't possess is them now, all. but the one witness is now possessed, and she's saying that he shot first, and he was never shot multiple shoot times. Yeah. Yeah. Even though there Apparently. are other witnesses there, yeah. but okay, she's sure. the one who's going to the press, so the story's mm-hmm. getting out, and he's got to he's got to come off the force. All that matters is yeah. the court of public opinion. Yeah. So, like Donald Sutherland even says, he's like, I don't, I don't care if he's guilty. I don't care. If he's innocent, he has to take the fall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which also then, of course, I guess brings into question: like, was the guy at the beginning a real serial killer, or he, did the the demon just live in him for a, a long period of time? I think and the so demon lived had, in him for a long and period. An innocent time. man again is killed because he was possessed by an evil spirit. That's what I think. Um, so the 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 demon takes possession of this woman at this the the scene of the shooting and wanders off and taunts him. You know, times on my side. Uh, and then I think Denzel Washington, despondent, goes home. Oh, I think he has like the the deep conversation with uh, John Goodman about why are we here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he goes. He's told Human he has to me. leave his gun and everything. Then he sits on his desk, has his moment with John Goodman. Uh, we get a meme that shows up, which apparently nobody else knows about. No. Me. Um, I just liked this scene because he was like, well, Marcy says everyone has is here for one reason. Hers is lasagna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hers is lasagna. I love that. That's great. It's like, is it just, just lasagna? Is it one, two reasons? Like, I don't like, know. I don't maybe it's, maybe it's two. I don't maybe it's two. I don't know. know. Yeah. Point being. The, the meaning of life is to basically when your moment comes, you make the decision for good or for bad. Yeah. I guess that's uh, what John Goodman comes up with. It's very mm-hmm. profound. I actually and like this scene. I it's not, yeah, it's yeah. not a bad scene because like it gives scene. two guys an opportunity to, to act, you know, which mm-hmm, is right. kind of nice. Um, and then uh, he goes home to uh, the house. He wakes up the next. Oh, at some point, the the his nephew is possessed, oh, yeah. apparently, and struck his brother. And then the demon like goes into a little kid. I'm like, oh, this is bad optics. You got the guy chasing the little kid down the street. Like, yeah. what's he gonna do when he catches him? You know, and the kid's taunting him like, ah, I'm, I'm gonna be back. Um, but the uh, so then uh, he wake Denzel wakes up the next morning. The kid is out in the living room playing after they've told him like close the door, don't let anybody in the house. But the brother is dead in the bedroom and not only that he's been injected with a poison that the killer likes to use like uh, the exorcist three uh serial killer uh mm. to kill his victims that's how he likes yeah. to do it and you made this 50 times darker colin because i didn't think about this point about who killed his brother right how did that happen well because you put it posited as the cat got in because there's an open window that he finds in that's the, the only thing that we have is the open window with the yes. lock apparently Broken. taken off of it so who killed the brother you you put it as like maybe the cat came in, possessed the son, and then the son killed his father being possessed. And I'm just like Jesus. Right. Then the then the then the then Azazel goes back into that. We never see this cat. No, we so don't. We don't assume this. We're assuming the windows open a little bit. So cat came in, possessed cat. Then it went back into the cat, and then it found the same girl that uh, it had been prior. Turn back into her. I don't know. It like it was. This a is all stuff that's not there. It's yeah. a problem. Yeah, it, it, like uh-huh. boggles the mind is how it actually works. Mm-hmm. And it was like, wait, well, this movie's moving fast enough that you're not supposed to think about it. It's like this is the stuff you're not explaining, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then Denzel's like, well, I got to come up with a fucking plan to beat the goddamn demon because maybe I am one of the chosen few. There have been a chosen few put on this earth to fight them. Mm-hmm. Which right there, I was like, wow, we're really going like okay, uh, based on, but okay. Yeah, like how do we know who's chosen? Because they can't get. She doesn't they can't know. Catch she doesn't. Know. I don't yeah. think they know. Yeah. I think they eventually like. Well, I it's think they problem. find each other. Like it happens in this movie. See, all the problems I have with this movie, frailty answered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Frailty explained it that shit to a T. I think he's just. A, Damn it! I didn't watch frailty. It was really good. It's really, really good. good. I yeah. I think it's just he knows that he's the chosen one because it hasn't been able to get inside him yet. Yeah. Yet. I think that's that's part that's, of that's it. all I. 
can think that they're, they're going on. Well, yep. as he's part, well, he he's becomes part of unchosen I mean, later. That. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's the problem. But he, but the demon said it's most powerful. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I, they may. I'm defined. Yeah, I'm taking it as it's because in that moment he's vulnerable because of what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, there, I mean, in order to to kill a demon, and there were saying and they can you can kill a demon. Well, how do we find that out? Because this is another one of those things where you're like, I mean, I love this stuff in movies because you just kind of have to go with it. But this is vague. But how it comes about is like M. Beth David. You just go to her, and she's able to tell you, like, well, it was written in a in a in a text, and I didn't understand it until you you know told me. But basically, uh, demons can only survive as long as one breath, one breath in a host, uh, and they can only travel about five cubits. Yes, which is a measure. Elbow you know, to your fingertips. Yeah, which is when they built the ark. Right? She's like, so that's one sixth cubits. of a mile. I'm just like, <laughs> that's great, man. Wait, that's it, great. It, that's awesome. I know what neither of those mean. It can only survive one breath in a host. No. Outside, one outside. Okay, okay. Well, that makes yeah. a big difference. Breathe the distance yeah. that you could breathe. Uh, now, which is five cubits. This stuff is, may <laughs> just be bullshit made up and all that. Stuff, but yeah, I like it. it. Yeah, I, I like know, I this this stuff. mythological <laughs> stuff for it. Sure, it doesn't make absolute scientific sense, but it's. I think it's fun. Well, you're talking about a demon. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, but it's, but it's you just a body hopping putting... demon movie. Denzel Washington. This is fun to me. And I guess you have to do this, right? Because you have to give the movie some kind of way to beat the villain. Mm. Otherwise, I guess that's what the movie does. This is what Hollis well. thinks. Like, how does he get out of this? Yeah. Yeah. It has that kind of fatalistic, like... He doesn't. Uh, there's no way to escape this fucking thing, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, once yeah. it's on to you, you're fucked. There's no way out. Yeah. Like, smile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which was coming up right after this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then at the end, we we think that maybe he's found a way. Mm. What's his plan? Uh, he goes back to the cabin. Where the where Embeth, Dav- Embeth Davids's cop father, who killed himself, mm-hmm. went there. That's yes. That's mm-hmm. Which we, in the mountains. Which, yes, which Denzel thinks eventually is for the same reason that he goes back up there. Right. And so he's waiting for Azazel to follow him there because he assumes that he's going to at some point. Yes. Because he likes I had questions with. there also. Okay. But again, these are logic <laughs> questions that yep. probably shouldn't be asked in a movie. Mm-hmm. But Azazel's if, always watching. If you, do, yeah, I guess that's what he's assuming, even though he makes all these arrangements because in the Because he's the one he wants apartment. to fuck with. Like he likes messing with him, but he doesn't tell anybody. Like I don't even know how the fuck they found him up there, or what clues led these people. Like rational, like how did they figure Lou, out? Lou mentions earlier that he saw uh, him looking at a map, and that he went somewhere beforehand. I'm guessing mm-hmm. that Lou comes up with that again, figuring out where he's where and he's tells gone. Goodman right, and, and it's like where mm-hmm. was because okay. it's part all of the right, evidence and all this stuff. Yep. We'll find the right. map, go up there. It's got to mm-hmm. be yep. taking okay. a long drive and all that shit. Because mm-hmm. he has been talking about uh, Moldavi or whatever the the, the the previous cop was. Mm-hmm. So he's yeah, following Mal- his trail. Yeah, yep. They're like, you know where he's at? Because he's Milano. Because he's escaping uh, the law. Because everybody thinks that he's the the copycat killer at this mm-hmm. point because of all the evidence that's been left. So they're like, we're gonna go up there and we're we're gonna get him. Plus, what's his plan though? Why is he going up here to the? Hold on, Mm -hmm. I have to say a plus. Mm -hmm. Um, Based on what happens with the people who show up, Azazel could have said he was up there. As far as the cops getting there, you know what I mean? He know. I guess he would because he was there thirty years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think he probably went back up to that place that uh, uh, Milano went to? Yeah. Well, I mean, because at this point, they're you know, it's it's the final showdown, and they both know that, (laughs) right? I think so. Yeah. So he knows where he's going. Yeah. yeah. So what's his plan? How's he gonna How's he gonna kill the demon? Uh, well, like you said, it can only last outside of a body the, for one breath. So if he goes out to the middle of nowhere, and both hosts are dead, mm. it has nowhere to go. So he's gonna He's gonna He's on a suicide run. Right. Basically, yes. he's gonna kill himself. But what he doesn't count on is that two people will show up. Mm-hmm. Both uh, Donald Sutherland and John, John Goodman. Goodman. So then it's like, oh shit, which one of those? Which and the one? audience has to... I remember when I saw this movie the first time, I was watching every single person yeah. uh, in every scene going like, are they are they the, the demon? Yeah. When you watch it again, you're like, they, they kind of telegraph who is and who isn't. I mean, mm-hmm. it's obvious when someone's uh, the demon and they stare at him, you know, mm-hmm. or something. They're there. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, you know, because this time around, I'm like, well, it's obvious Donald Sutherland isn't playing the possessed guy. Well, uh, and it, I mean, you knew it was going to be John Goodman because that's the highest stakes. Mm-hmm. True. Right. 
Mm-hmm. True, true, true. You don't want to be the, the partner, partner that you like. Yeah. Yeah. It's his yeah. best friend. Yeah. And then we get uh, John Goodman uh, replaying his Blues Brothers 2000 roots. Yep. Yeah. In, in a, Yikes. In a, <laughs> in a rendition of uh, uh, The Stones' Time is on my side. This is why he did the movie. Yes. Because, uh, you so know, like, do when you get to this scene. He does his best Jagger. You're it's like, great. Uh, mm-hmm. This is why he accepted a role, uh, you know, second banana. Because he was doing King Ralph and uh, the, the Babe. And, and he oh, had yeah, leading roles in, mm-hmm. in movies. And I was like. Well, he was I mean, movie. the Big Lebowski is right around this time, right? Uh, it comes later. Yeah, it's a year later. Yeah. 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 And before this, um, uh, what was the... Uh, he was in a co- yeah. ton of Coen Brothers stuff at this time, too. Oh, right. Yeah. Because yeah. he was in Barton yeah. Fink, right? Mm-hmm. He was doing all that kind of stuff. Um, Big Easy, right? He was in the mm-hmm. Big Easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was probably a decade before this. Anyway, uh, so... And Roseanne. Yeah, Roseanne's well, like, Roseanne. yeah. But in feature <laughs> films, I mean, like... Uh, um. So, yeah, the plan is uh, ki- shoot shoot the possessed guy because we killed Donald Sutherland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shoot the possessed guy, John Goodman, and then poison yourself. Right, with the but poison. not enough. But enough that he ha- it takes more all to die. That's yeah. the key. That was, but then I was questioning why. Uh, so if you if if John Goodman's mortally injured and he's dying slowly, because mm-hmm. that's what you want. I can poison yeah. myself mm-hmm. and watch you die slowly, mm-hmm. Azazel. And then by the time I'm dead, you're not going to have anywhere to go. So yeah. then he, does he shoot him in the fucking head? Exactly. Yeah. Don't know. I honestly, I think it's because he just he doesn't want to sit there and have that face to face with him. He just wants it to be over. So he he he, took, he gave it enough, just enough time to kill himself. Right. Because but then he's that, like, that I don't want to sit here. Fast. And, yeah. Because I mean, I wouldn't want to sit there and talk to my demon possessed friend either. No, just before <laughs> I'm about to die. Yeah. 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 He, he just wants it to be over with. Of course, it would have fucked the demon over a little more because the demon takes possession of Denzel Washington with a couple minutes left to go and like remembers then like, oh, that's where he threw the car keys. I'm going to go scramble through the snow in order right. to get him. Yep. But it's not enough. And he collapses. But uh, he, he dies. Forgot. And then his spirit leaves the yep. body forever to mm. disappear. But you forgot this is the story about the time I almost. Died. Oh, it got me. It got me. Yep. Meow. Yeah. Because Denzel doesn't know that he can also go into cats. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have to be a human being. Which is why I told you to just wait, because the cat is <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate ending to this. Mm-hmm. I was going to say that. It's the thing. Yeah. It's the yeah. thing ending. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is the, the same thing. The yeah, yeah, it's yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And then he's like, see you around. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's fallen. That's how it uh, So could this have gone into like a bird or a squirrel or like literally anything? Yeah, probably. Then? I mean, yeah, that's so like going on the woods does nothing then. Can you, can but he it, didn't know that. But can it go into an insect? <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Like what are the rules any here? any size yeah. of, of life right. form matter? We don't know. Kind of seems like wow. it. But yeah, Denzel didn't know that. Yeah. So. Yeah. True. I'm also surprised that like the demon can't just like see, you know, when we see demon vision, it yeah. can't just see like life forms like predator vision i was gonna say like predator vision <laughs> like predator vision because it sees you know basically in a warped version of the corporeal world you yeah. know it's yeah. like it's like a yellow it's filter a yeah spirit. Mm-hmm. he probably um who knows what he probably senses it we need to make a movie that takes place from a demon's point of view like actually trying to find like you know a person like how do you find a person a if you're on a on a uh, is this what we do in the shadows what was that movie of uh, was it a- Ava's possessions or it was the girl who kept on waking up going like what the hell happened and they're like you just killed like everyone you know and she's oh, like they, oh, they do that yeah. oh yeah I, I forgot about that movie yeah, that's funny yeah hmm. I did, um, I actually kind of like that movie right yeah I forgot about it <laughs> like from the spectral plane it's yeah. just a big spider web and you can go down a web and into a person I don't know what the fuck consciousness <laughs> all right so anyway. Doesn't she go to like group therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. with other people who survived, yes. like uh, I liked that movie. Demon possessions. Good. It's it wasn't bad. It yeah. has like it's one of those movies that has like a good hook and goes for a while, and then eventually kind of mm. you're like, eh, all right, <laughs> um, all right. So we're gonna tell you whether or not you should watch tonight's movie, Fallen. We're gonna go around the table, but first of all, we're gonna summon our mailman, and he's gonna read us some of your mail, and his name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He's definitely, he, he's definitely possessed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. he he's possessed? possessed. Yeah. He's possessed people. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Over there. 
What body? Who jumped into his body? Who's in his body right now? But the, 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 <laughs> the trick there is a demons. Mailman. Well, that's the trick is that demons can't last very long in Igor. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they the jump trick. in there like ha 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 ha, <laughs> <laughs> and they have to hoof it back out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, we should let the good folks at home now know how you can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Um, MF Mad, mm-hmm. the longtime stalwart, <laughs> keeper of keeper the of Saturday the Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Looking at it right now. I know, right behind Michaela over yep. there along it's the beautiful. wall. Beautiful. Uh, we're inducting John Goodman onto the Saturday Night Freak Show. Long overdue. Uh, because we, we did we did do the Big Lebowski. Arachnophobia. <laughs> and arachnophobia. arachnophobia. Yeah. Yes. Fallen. So there you go. Three like movies it takes to get you on the wall of fame. We're also putting uh, actor Robert Joy on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Welcome, he Bob. played uh, Charles, who was, I believe, the first killer, possessed killer. You might have recognized him. Uh-huh. He was the guy at uh, the, the, the sandwich shop that became a killer. He uh, was also... Yes. I did um, recognize him. Yes. What was he from? He Has was, he been in a Batman movie or some shit? Like, I don't remember I, I've being seen more in a Batman movie. I remember he was in um, he was in the dark half. George Romero would cast him. He was in Land of the, of the Dead. Okay. Uh, he was in Amityville 3D, which we did. He was the doctor who understood or undercovered the uh, supernatural. And he was also Ledger Guy in Waterworld, a, a oh. role that we all remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ledger Guy. I love it. In Waterworld. Um, MF Mad says there's also a uh, Hallway of Fame, uh, Ida Taturo, related to John. Not sure. Anyway, she was Tiffany in Fallen. You remember Tiffany. Uh, also, she was in Celebrity, <laughs> Woody Allen's oh, celebrity, celebrity, which, yes. We did. We did. There's a Saturday Night Freak Show episode. She played we, Olga, the psychic. Uh, we did a couple of Woody Allen. Half of yeah. us were not here for those. And yeah. uh, she was also, Funny. but you can go well, back and Broadway you can great. go listen to them right now. That was a pretty good show. That's a good movie. Did we do uh, Crimes and Misdemeanors? I think that was pretty good. Anyway, oh, uh, so. and Deep Blue Sea. She was also in Deep Blue Sea. So ah. uh, your certificate is on, in the mail, yep. uh, each of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, about tonight's movie, Fallen Karate Warrior 2, Ooh, writes in dumb. and says, I can't remember how this film ended, but I sure can, I, I can sure as hell remember how legit everything evil felt. I can totally remember how they say Azazel, though, laugh out loud. Sean, please do us the honors and give us one. Azazel? Are we supposed to say it differently? Is it Azazel? I don't know. They say Azazel. Azazel. We're Americans. So that's how we're saying it. Azazel? <laughs> Am yeah. I wrong? I don't know what that, I, I don't know. Sorry, that's, that's, only, that, that's how we that say it. The only weird one I know is the one I can't figure out what the movie's from. Azrael. But that's yeah, Gargamel's that's Yeah, that's not I know, the same name. Yeah. It's the only we, one I can think of being yeah, pronounced. No. I was like, we say Azazel, sorry. No, it's Azazel. <laughs> Let us know what you're talking about. Yeah, maybe it's uh, Azazel. Who knows? Azazel. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, I love this. Mo- Wait, and actually, Dom, I'm surprised. You don't remember the ending to Fallen? Isn't that like... That's yeah. why I remember falling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, I love this movie. The pacing's a little slow, and the backstory about the brother probably should have been fleshed out a little more. He seems mentally impaired in some way, but he also has yeah. a son. Yeah. yeah. Still might have one of my favorite twist endings. It's also one of the first Philadelphia set horror movies I saw before M. Night Shyamalan came along and used it exclusively for his movies, although it doesn't necessarily shine a light on some of our nicer areas. Yeah. Michael, does. you must be from... Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah, because we couldn't figure it out for the yeah. for a while. We had to look it up. Uh, we knew it was East Coast, but that was What's it. in Philadelphia? The Bell? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, only, it? it's only like the cradle of democracy. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. But is that like yeah. the yeah. first sure. capital of the United States, and then they moved it yeah. to Washington? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Independence Hall. Yeah. Have you seen National Treasure? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is where, God damn it. Yep. <laughs> Nation I forget there. that it's in Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Asobi Detura says, what are the hosts' favorite Denzel Washington performances? Uh, man on Fire. Man on Fire for sure. Inside Man. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I ricochet. Like, ricochet, ricochet. ricochet. I'm gonna say it's like one of I've been first... meaning to bring that to the free yeah. show for a oh, while. Jesus. The Joel Silver movie that yeah. Denzel Washington was and in, and John Lithgow. John Lithgow, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Uh, That's yeah. a good I like, one. Uh, I mean, he's good in Training Day. He's Deja good Vu. In... Is... Okay, I find Deja Vu. I like fun Deja Vu for, for as ridiculous as it I is. Like, I like. I don't ever need to watch him be a cop again. So like, <laughs> literally anything where he's not a cop, you know, like, yeah. virtuosity was he was great in virtuosity. Even. Was he uh, Mo Better Blues? Was that? I think so. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, done some good stuff. Okay, last week we watched a movie called What Have You Done to Solange? And uh, oh, yeah. absolutely none of you wrote in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The week before that... <laughs> Damn, Colin's trolling Damn, the audience. No. That's like a pile on. Cold blooded. <laughs> Sorry, Colin. Uh, maybe next week when they've actually heard the episode. Uh, the week before that, we watched Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Oh, yes, yeah. Did. And a half priced horror writes in to say, I have that same. Oh, yeah, because we said it sounds like a sequel, but isn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, half priced horror says, I have that same. Sounds like a sequel, but isn't problem with Quigley Down Under. Yeah, oh, I love it Quigley does because the down under makes it implies it's like we did Quigley something and then Quigley down. Under. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, like Shaft's like, big score and Shaft goes to Africa. Yeah, and exactly. yeah. Shaft, the same thing. In yeah. the 90s, we did sequels by sending them to a different continent. Oh, right. You know, Ernest so goes there to Africa. Be a Quigley. Yeah. yeah, and then okay. a Quigley down under. Yeah, <laughs> Quigley in the Big Apple. Yeah, Quigley in American Dude, Story. I love Quigley down yeah. under. Quigley down under. Such a great yeah, movie. I was gonna say good poll because it's a great movie. Uh, Aaron Don Gilmer says that episode, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, was hilarious and awesome. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Thank you. That was a fun time. Uh, now I don't actually remember if it was the week before we did Evil Dead. We did it before Evil yeah. Dead Rise no. came out. No, we didn't. No, there was Cellar Dweller. Cellar Dweller. Cellar Dweller. Yeah. 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 Well, C. Huds. What up, C. Huds? Says, uh, I have a funny story about Evil Dead. I saw it in a theater with a friend. There was a group of four or five high school guys seated in front of us. One had been taken to the movie against his will and was not enjoying it. <laughs> Throughout the movie, he was saying stuff like, don't go in there. And why do people keep watching messed up stuff like this? I normally <laughs> hate people who talk during the movies, but we were cracking up. That would time. be That's amazing. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind if it was someone who was just like, ah! <laughs> well, like I mean, we did Paranormal Activity three on this podcast, but I, it's, I think I talk about it on the episode that when I saw it in theaters, I literally saw kids like running out of theater crying, and that yeah. was amazing. I never get these. Experiences. I was like, fuck yeah! I saw people get traumatized in real time. I see yeah. a guy puke in the <laughs> yeah. aisle as he's yeah. waiting yeah. for a movie. Yeah. Well, it only happens, I think, when you have a, a movie theater that's full. Yeah, like, this was I a full I don't see theater that anymore yeah. either. Yeah. Unless it's a Marvel movie. Like I, had a, yeah. I, I had an experience watching people get traumatized by watching something, but it was in my human sexuality class, and we watched... Was it you? Did you watch a Were you the it, watching it was, yourself being nope, traumatized? it wasn't me. We watched a video of a circumcision. Oh! Yeah, talk about torture porn. My God. No. Yeah. Well, uh, two people threw up, two people fainted. Oh, God. Really? Yeah. Yep. I see you all I, I, I don't think I'd throw up or faint, but I'd be making a lot of noise. Oh, There'd yeah. There'd be a lot of, ow! <laughs> I mean... No! It's something I'll never forget, and I'm traumatized. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was yeah. intense. Oh, we how long does that procedure take? <laughs> Not that long. And you're <laughs> how, how bloody is it? We, we as watched, a child. Oh my god, happens. John! Go. We watched. Maybe I should. Of, maybe I want to watch no, one. Of these. We watched a lot of messed up videos yeah. like that. Do you remember? Well, no, I loved that educational. class. You don't remember, but uh, yeah, the educational had, movies like Mom and Dad or Teenage <laughs> Mother that would come around to, yes. to town. And they, oh, yeah. they get you in there because it's like, oh, you're going to see like, you know, like uh, the, the teenage mother or whatever. Here's what happens with mom and dad. And then there would be like a a, a scene of a live birth, mm. like yeah. for the first time and everybody freak out. But yeah. 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 it was we hucksterism watched, yeah. at its best. Back we watched in the a day. video of, um, oh God, we watched, we watched a few videos. We had a couple guests come in. We had pimps come in and talk to us. Like oh, we, nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like we had, it was a crazy class. It was my favorite class I've ever taken. Can it I, was awesome. What did the Ask pimps say? Question. How do you like, okay, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're a professor, you're a teacher and you want a pimp to come in and talk to your class. Yeah. Um, what do you expect? How do you, how do you find, how do you find your, you work at a clinic. Oh, okay, I got you. That's how you right. do it. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go <laughs> around the table. She had great stories. She was also Ron Jeremy's neighbor when she lived in L.A. Wow. Oh. She oh, had great stories. Oh, boy. Oh, I All thought right. you were talking about the pimp. No, no, no. no. My I'm teacher. Like the oh, okay. No, my teacher. She had great stories. Oh, Sorry. I anyway, bet. continue. This sounds fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Love that class. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. See, that's why you listen to the yep. Saturday Night Free Show. Yeah, you you learn, find out all this you stuff. You learn something. You yep. learn about circumcision videos. So we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch a demon possession movie called Fallen, starting with Colin. 
Oh, oh man, I'm on the hot seat. Um, what do you think about tonight's movie from 1998 starring Denzel Washington? Fallen. I know I've been poking holes in it, but I actually do like this movie. Um, it, uh, yeah, I think, you know, even watching it tonight, I'm like, it's over long, but it's like none of the scenes are like egregious. I guess I would have uh, preferred a different, maybe just a different cut of the movie, you know, mm. uh, outlining all the stuff that we've been talking about yeah. through it. I think I would have liked it if it wasn't a big Warner Brothers movie, if this was a smaller studio putting it out and they actually were like, no, we're going to, we're going to, you're not going to know that it's a, uh, a, a, a demon movie until like halfway through it or yeah. you know, something. It's just going to be like this weird, you know, a cult kind of movie, but it actually is supernatural. I think the hook of the movie in advertising was that it was a supernatural body hopping. Movie. Yeah. Cause how else do you sell it? Yeah. You know, there's just a lot of that serial woman, killer the movie. Like just we were like, saying. I'm just, I'm still having fun. Like that was in it. Like, I guess detective John Hobbs is facing. Yeah. The you most, just you know, make a trailer like you would for seven. It's <laughs> possible. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, like, it's not that hard. Right. It's possible. Yeah. Unless it was like already getting old at that point. And they're like, well, we need a different, wasn't he in the bone collector, which feels yeah. like it should be supernatural. I like the bone collector. I forgot about yeah. that. And uh, we were saying, uh, what was it? The Little Things? No, the Little Things. Bring it that's, up. that's very recent. Yeah, yeah, but it feels like a movie that he mm-hmm. would have made in this period of time. Oh, that feels like a movie that escaped from 1997. Yeah. 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 You um, could, 1997, you can take Rami Malek and take him back with yep. you if you'd like. <laughs> I don't uh, think yeah. we need him. No, no, we're past him as a society, so. right? Yeah. I think so. I but I do dig the movie. I don't need movie. him past Twilight. I yeah. guess you know I don't know if uh, if I'm if I'm recommending a movie based on like I saw it when it was new. So if you watch it when it was new, now I'm carrying that with me. I, yeah, I watched it tonight, but it was like like oh okay, what's it like when you're watching it from knowing that the narrator is the the demon and that kind of stuff? And I mean, I dug it, and I still like the people who are in it. I like the atmosphere and the cinematography. I think the concept is cool. Um and I dig the twist ending, so I think because of that, you know, even though we spoiled it for you, uh, that was why I would recommend <laughs> the movie. Um, let's go with Holly. What'd you think? Yeah, no, I I pretty much agree with everything that you said. Um, I I really enjoy this movie. Like police procedural, serial killers, supernatural, like all up my alley. Totally my jam. Um, Jesus, we know you love Jesus. I mean, I did once upon a time. <laughs> I still think he's a decent guy. Um. No, I yeah, this movie is too long. It so much can be trimmed for this movie. And I agree with you, Colin. I think just a different edited version of this movie, I think, would have been spectacular. Um, I think we really do just want Fincher's version of this. But yeah, a different the, editing. The two and a half hour director's cut? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> if it's Fincher, it can be longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he no, it's that license that he we really does. About no, th- for, this yeah. is the director's cut. We, we want no, the theatrical this, version yeah. where it's yeah. like yeah. 90 this is minutes. The director's cut. Yeah. 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 Just a different edited version of this movie would be great. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, th- I think it's it's a really cool movie. It's. It's it's that 90s movie that works because we've watched so many that it's like in theory it should work. You want it to work. But this one actually does. Even though it's too long, it still does it for me. Um, yeah, I wasn't bored. So that, that's saying something because it is long. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to recommend it. I think, it's, I think it's a good time. Michaela, what do you think? I found this to be pretty boring and tedious and to be pretty redundant. Uh, I didn't see anything in this movie I hadn't already seen before in a movie. Uh, and I mean, I've seen Denzel do this a bajillion times and probably better. And uh, But he's so good at it. Yeah, but, but I don't need to watch him do it in the same movie 20 times in a row. I'll just pick my favorites and watch those, you know? And I just, it, I, I really... It did not get off on a good foot with me when he gives a whole monologue about how cops are the chosen one and they're better than the rest of humanity. Yeah, I, this just like don't, are you right? do this not is love a different thing about co- like didn't like that. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> they, but like they're not even being subtle about it. He literally says cops are the chosen ones. Like no, that's he does. A, for a major problem. And just like, mm-hmm. uh, like has he not made enough copaganda movies in his life that he has to keep making them? Like to this day, this man is still making this exact movie over mm-hmm. and over again. So I don't need to watch every iteration of it. I it's way too long and it doesn't earn that runtime and it's too boring. It's not gory. It's not particularly violent or scary. It's just kind of goofy. And like, I feel like the hidden is a better version of this. I would rather watch. So I'm going to pass on it. I did not care for it. Sean, what did you think? The hidden, like the, the, one the Kyle watched? McLaughlin yeah. movie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That was cops <laughs> body swapping. Body yeah. Movie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I like this movie. Uh, I haven't seen it in a long time, and uh, obviously because I forgot it was two hours, and I'm sorry to do that to all of you, because that is the one complaint that I will agree with everybody. Mm -hmm. It's too long. Um, this does feel like the director's cut for the movie, and I think we could definitely get a more uh, fast pace cleaner version of the movie but i like this Less version. trips to the bullpen probably but i like the bullpen the problem the problem for me with this movie which may not be a problem but um even if it is long i like the moments where they're just acting like, those are the best parts it's right, all the but, other stuff and they don't and it doesn't necessarily have to progress the movie because sometimes they're just sitting there acting at each other but mm -hmm. i like to watch it that's the part i like too i like the zodiac type scenes of mm -hmm. just them in the police office bullshitting and talking that's what i like it's you just don't like it's the redundancy, the, of, it's the redundancy the of showing the body swapping a bajillion times mm -hmm. without it's, it's anything much, new happening yeah. Yeah. yeah again that is part of i could sort of i love a drama where it's just couple guys in a room back and forth i love that shit yeah mm -hmm. that's give me more of that you know there is there's a good amount of that in this movie um i like watching denzel uh act i i mean it is uh probably a quintessential of this era movie again we were talking about the cinematography which i liked a lot um it is a slow paced burn of a movie but again i'm okay with that um a stacked cast holy shit so it's that makes it even better as far as watching everyone act. Um, yeah, I, I like this movie. I still like this movie. Um, I'm a, yeah, I recommend Fallen. It was good to revisit after quite a few years. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna say uh, you should watch Fallen. There's a lot to like here. All right, well, it's Fallen. Next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by. Was it after me? You, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> it's been you? a long day. It's been a long day. <laughs> Holly. I feel forgotten. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But we talk about you when you're not here. As Thank you. We've sent you yeah. the thing. Uh, what are we going to watch next week? Hard Target. Hard Target. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've seen the snake scene. Yes. Yeah. Oh, More really? Snakes? You haven't yeah. seen this? No, wait, I've wait, just seen this. Because, like, in the subsequent year, intervening years since this has come out, there's now a director's cut. Oh. of hard oh. target which version will we be watching uh, probably regular <laughs> whichever one's on prime okay <laughs> all right, here we go if there's a choice we'll let you know somehow on social media uh but until next week then i guess we're watching jean-claude van damme the muscles from brussels returns to the saturday night i can't give him up after a long <laughs> yeah. absence and so uh, we're watching hard target and until then ladies and germs the basement is going dark